Hey YouTubers, Log Cabin Looms did a few videos on using pine tar to uh, do gun stocks and his garden tools. So I went and got some. This is in the. This was at uh, Tractor Supply in the horse care area, I guess. Uh, I think they might use it on their hooves. Uh, but what you want to do is mix this 50-50 with boiled linseed oil and that's what I've done here I went and I bought a empty quart uh, paint can mixed it 50-50 I'm shaking it up and I'm gonna coat this old matic or pickaxe I don't know what you want to call it I call this a matic handle it's getting kinda of rough looking so I'm gonna take some uh, 100 grit sandpaper and just sand it down to smooth it out and and get any finish off of it that's left and then I'm going to coat it with the pine tar and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay here it is after I sanded it. You can see I didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. I just wanted to make sure all the dirt was off of it. Probably could use a little more sanding up in here because that's a little bit of rust in there from the matic. Before I put the finish on it, I wanted to explain that when I'm using my tools, my garden tools, like out in the garden, when I'm done for the day, I don't just drop them in the garden and go in. Everything gets picked up and put away in the back of my barn or up my shop, wherever they belong. I've only bought a new, that I can remember, I've only bought one new shovel and my wife bought me a new garden rake and those were both when we first got married and that was 30 years ago so everything I've got is at least 30 years old and probably close to 50 years old or older than that because I've inherited from my father-in-law and my wife's grandpa and other people and go into auctions and garage sales that's how I get most of my garden tools if I see a good tool at a garage sale or garden or at an auction it's good quality stuff I can't just let it go I gotta buy it you know I'll supply my kids with stuff if they ever get into gardening. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting a finish on this. Let me get ready. I'll show you how I apply it. Then we're going to put it out in the sun and let it dry. I'll show you the finished product uh, a little later. Okay, I got this little shop towel. I put these on because I don't particularly want all this stuff all over my hands and I usually get it all over me. Any kind, any kind of finish I usually end up with more on me than anything else. Dipped it in the can and I'm just gonna rub it in. Get it on the end because that end gets a lot of abuse on this thing. Putting it on pretty heavy. It actually will make this thing look pretty nice because it brings out the, the grain in that wood. You see that? How it brings the grain out. It'll give you a nice, uh, nice finish, protect the wood, and it'll give you less of a slippery uh, finish like the varnish that comes on them. It gets kind of slippery. There's some gouges in this, so I'm going to make sure I get it deep into those cuts and stuff. What it is is that uh, boiled linseed oil will evaporate and dry out, and, and it helps the pine tar penetrate the wood this is probably old old hickory so that's gonna make a nice looking handle and it's protected and it'll have a nice feel to it when you're using it 
So I'm going to take it out there in that uh, blistering hot sun and set it out to let this soak in and dry. And I'll show you it when it's all done. One other thing, there's something about this linseed oil that if you just take this rag and wad it up and throw it in a rag box, the, the linseed oil and the air, it'll just, it will get hot and spontaneously combust. So what I'm going to do is take this out, lay it out in the stones out in the sun so that uh, the sun can dry it out and not uh, keep it moist in the shop here and, and uh, just cause a, a bad thing. So remember that about uh, the linseed, boiled linseed oil. You don't want to wad up your rags and just throw them in a box. Well there it is. Probably going to last another hundred years. Keep it inside and don't abuse it when you use it. It's got a good feel to it. Not sticky but not slippery. I can tell and uh, I got some more tools that are going to get the treatment. Thanks for watching.